As I entered the chasms, it struck me how much darker it was in there. The shadows were black as ink, and although I tried not to be afraid, I couldn't help but shiver. Was it the darkness that frightened the villagers as well, or was it something else? you came. Sorry about back there. I just get so frustrated. They cling so desperately to what they know, won't ever do anything new. It feels better when Fred is around, but... I told Madeline I didn't mind, and I asked her what she was doing with the book. Oh, this? These writings? It's like a secret language. They are done by people who left the village long ago. They're called the Strays. But no one wants to talk about them. I started translating their language with help from a stray book that Fred found. This one says, Don't move when the eye is open, I think. I wonder what it means. Whatever. We should get going. Why don't you take me on your back? It'll be faster if you carry me. I used to piggyback on Fred all the time. Turn around and I'll hop up. Huh. <laughs> You're not going to drop me, right? Okay, let's go. Madeline climbed up on my back, and with the suit on, I could barely feel the extra weight. The winding, narrow tunnels felt like they were closing in on me. They were oddly long and twisting, almost like someone or something had dug them out. With Maddie on my back, I had to be careful not to bump her head on the ceiling. Strays were ordinary people living in the village long ago. They disagreed with the old traditions and left to form their own village, or they were thrown out for misbehaving. The stories differ a bit. Seemingly bottomless pits loomed below us, everywhere in the cave. 
The further we got, the more I felt like what faint light existed down there was getting fainter. I was really glad that I wasn't alone. Beware of what? Was that? I had never heard a creature sounding as terrifying, and I imagined it wouldn't be happy about visitors. See that glowing plant over there? I bet something will happen if you use your grapple on it. Told you so. It is really dark down there. You're not scared, are you? Cause I'm not. Fred has been with my people since the first villager was born. He helped us build the village, taught us how to speak, and helps us with everything. He taught me how to read and write as well. That's how I could learn to read the writing on the walls.
Dude, I think I figured out what I that riding was going on about. Maybe we shouldn't charge right out in front of that thing. Remember what it said. Don't move when the eye is open. We had made it through, and I felt like nothing could stand in our way of finding Fred. 